Alright guys, I'm back here with Emerge NYC. Uh, this video pretty much is just going to be about the map. Um, and uh, what, what I want to start, what I want to start out with is that this is the early access version. It's a tech demo. Things are going to change. Things are going to change drastically, I think. And we've already seen that with the past couple updates. Um... What I want to talk about is that the map that we can play in right now is going to get bigger. And that's that's one thing I know for certain. Due to a glitch uh, yesterday when I was playing, I went outside the map and there's another part of the map that actually isn't playable yet. Um, and you can you can kind of see it when you look at... Oh, where's it? I'll have to go find it. And when I find it, I'll bring it up. But the map isn't finished yet and it's, just gonna, it's only going to get bigger. I think more things are going to be added to it, like the the river, a bridge. Um, obviously, we're going to get you know some hydrants and some all, a whole bunch of different ambient things going on, like people walking. I'm sure from videos and info that I have read up on on this game, there's going to be like I said the hydrants. There's going to be a bunch of things to interact with. There's going to be buildings that you can walk into. And skyscrapers and uh, apartments like you can like you've seen in the one that's already here that's on fire. Okay, that's what I'm, here's what I'm talking about the new World Trade Center building. Um, if you go over there, and one when I was putting a ladder up on a building one day, I think it was yesterday last night, I had a glitch happen to me where I, my my truck just flipped out and flew over the the wall over here. What's going on over here? Well, it, if I come over here and I drove around a bit over here, I'll just go in third person mode, it's easier. So they got these walls up so you can't see it just yet, but there's going to be roads that connect to the existing roads. There's going to be more buildings put in here. I can't go up necessarily, but you guys can see it's the World Trade Center right here, the new build the new building they they built. This is what this building is. So we're gonna have that. We're gonna have these roadways. Uh, not too sure what these are. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be buildings here. I've never actually been in New York. I'm not sure how accurate the map is on this game compared to the actual New York, you know, but uh uh, there looks like a tunnel here. All unfinished, all closed off for right now. More building area. And this is what I mean by the bridge, because I know there's a bridge, there's bridges around New York. And this road right here, I'm assuming, is going to be one. That's just me assuming. That's not. That doesn't mean it's true. And like I said, I've never been to New York, so I couldn't tell you where everything's at. So we go back in here, and uh, I just wanted to let anyone that didn't know about that know about it. So we'll go back to our ambulance here, which I'm hoping for an update soon, so maybe we can. Get some more textures, some more details in this map. What was it, three or four days ago was when we had the last update, so... I'm hearing about once a week there's supposed to be an update, so maybe it should be soon. <clears throat> I'm just going to go through the map here and show some of the detail that uh, maybe other videos don't really show. And if, it may be boring to you, but this is some of the things I just want to go through in this video. Which is all the, the very small, minute details that make the game what it's going to be. Like these little lamp posts right here. And all the air conditioners and the windows and different textures. Like the, different, the differences in, in bricks. Uh, all add up to make, this, make the gameplay so much better. And once these buildings are all textured... I'm sure it's going to be just outstanding. 
I love the fire escapes and uh, all the, the signs on the sides of the buildings. And I'll try to find the area. It may be Times Square, I think. It's got a bunch of neon lights and uh, signs that flash around. There's like a mall there. I think it was in the end of one of my past videos. Not sure what it is, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like it's going to be a cool area. I'd really love to go to New York and see what the buildings actually look like up close and see what the texture is like compared to a, the game here. It's going to be a lot of fun going up in these buildings if, if you can. I've, I'm not too sure on that part yet. If you can go up and like inside these buildings and the, and the game's released and fight high-rise fires, connect to a standpipe up there, that'd be very, very cool. Here we go. So the Empire Plaza. Now that's that's pretty detailed. I mean, there's a lot going on right there. There's you got a text sign, a bunch of spinning signs and shit. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, these buildings are gonna be so much fun to go up in. Hopefully they add some confined space rescue in this so we can get put rescue nine to use, you know, crawl through a confined space to save some maybe there was a sewage worker down in one of the sewer pipes down here and he got stuck or something, you know, or he had a MI down there, heart attack and we have to go get him out. That'd be very, very interesting gameplay. And like I said, from seeing videos um, from the developers and kind of reading up on the game, it's it's going to be very interactive when uh, when we start walking around, when we can actually get out of the vehicles and walk around. It's going to be very interesting to hook up to a hydrant and see, because like I, from doing it in real life and then doing it in this game, there's steps, you know, there's steps you got to take to do a water supply, for say, and I'm wondering if there's going to be steps like that in this game as well. So I'm on the edge of my seat with, waiting for this game to release, waiting for it to come out. And I know I gotta wait quite a few more months, but I just, I don't know if I can wait much longer. And I wonder if these actually change. If these, if these walk indicators change, then that's a very nice detail as well. Well, I don't know that I'm going to wait for it, but... So that's red. And that would mean these people walk. This one's red too. Hey, I think it changed. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, there it goes. There it changed. Wow, that's that's cool. They even have the walk indicators that changed on the right time. Very nice. Like I said in my previous video, these one-way streets are really going to get me. Anybody that lives in New York, I'm not sure how you do it. Any firefighter that lives in New York, I'm not sure how you guys do it either. Driving with all those people that don't pull over and with the sirens and the lights. And for the police aspect, I'm really wondering uh, if there's like a like a projects area, if there's like a little hood, and there'll be some uh, gang-related violence, uh, gang, you know, shootings, whatever, in that area. That'd be really sweet too. Get a little ghetto in this game. That'd be pretty sweet. 
So I believe over here is that apartment fire. Maybe not. Oh. No, this isn't it. Never mind. Oh, this is fire station. Rescue 9, engine 78. So you can see what I mean by the attention to detail because they don't have like in some games you'll have a texture that's the same exact thing as the texture right next to it or even like spread throughout the city you'll have the same exact type type of uh, fire escapes and they won't have any distinction between them not even a different color and this one they got green ones red ones black ones and it's just they put a lot of time into the, the small detail of it and that's what I really love inside the fire stations that's another thing that I, I'm really looking forward to this one this one was just released in the update so there is no texture to it but say if I go to uh, ladder 66 engine 32 and the battalion 5 I think it's battalion 5 yeah it's detailed it's almost fully detailed and when you can get out of the trucks and walk around and go inside the uh, chief's office or battalion chief's office and look at the computer like I've seen in one of the videos and see where dispatch has you going to that's I really love that I really love that about this game so I'll, I'll actually turn the fire trucks on go to 66 So this is what I mean by the details, because you have your uh, your turnout gear, the shelves. We have little um, lockers almost in our in my personal firehouse. You got the gas pumps. This is what I mean by the battalion chief's office and the computer. I think you'll be able to go to. All very nice. All the coats over here. Let me get to 32 real quick. So all the coats on the walls, you know, waiting for people to put on. The heaters up on the walls. Oh, wait. thought those were heaters up there, but the beams. And I'm sure it's not done being detailed yet. I think you'll be able to walk upstairs into a uh, lounge quarters. And there might be beds there. TV, rec room, so on and so forth. The trash can sitting outside with graffiti on them. That's sweet. So here you got this. These ladder escapes look a little smaller than the other ones. And it's the distinction like that. I noticed the really small details. So that's what I like to see. Alright guys, I just wanted to take a second and show you around the, the map real quick and some of the things that are changing and are going to change um, and what we have to look forward to in the future for this map and for this game. So thanks for watching in and have a good night.